uh, launched an iPad app and achieved a lot more and they're here to tell you about it. Quickie? Hello? Yeah, there you go. Great. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Doug Imbrus. I'm the founder and CEO of Quickie. And with me on stage today is our director of communications, CC Chang. And we're here to give you an alumni update, talk about Quickie's past, its present, its future, and make a couple of important announcements. <clears throat> so before we get into all that, we thought we'd review Quickie's mission and all of its amazing features through the lens of a recent app video we produced to introduce our iPad application in the App Store. Oops. Is the computer mic for audio? Can we get the audio on the uh, computer? No? Okay, well, so you're watching a video that we produced to introduce Quickie's iPad app in the App Store. And what you're seeing is Quickie's core technology at work. Right now, we have 3 million reference topics indexed. And what we do is we analyze those topics, we aggregate all sorts of data, and we create on the fly, narrated, even though you can't hear the narration, interactive experiences. And this is all done by machines. It's an example of our intellectual property, which is all about machine curated data and the, oh, can we? and the interactive presentation of information. So we could just skip to the next slide. That's, that's all right. So we describe Quickie as an information experience, but you can all uh, use the app and visit the website later. What we really think about Quickie as and how we define it is that it's a new medium. It's not just a website. It's not just a mobile app. It's a new way of creating content. And that content, since it's not video, it's actually fully interactive, can be created and curated in real time and ultimately, it's designed for mobile devices, tablets, and interactive TVs. And we think it is the future. And that's why we're so excited. So who remembers this moment? A couple of people who are in San Francisco. So this is Quickie, uh, <laughs> when we won TechCrunch Disrupt in San Francisco last year, September 29th, 2010. And I love this picture for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, it obviously shows the exuberance with which everybody at Quickie approaches their work. And number two, this picture, while it's yes about the moment that it depicts, it's about winning, it's also about all the moments, all the hard work, all the perseverance that led up to it in what we like to call the pre-TechCrunch disrupt era. And largely, this era was lived from a garage behind a Persian rug shop in downtown Palo Alto, California, and we moved there from New York with the core group uh, about eight months before the TechCrunch conference. And uh, it was in this garage that we did what every startup needs to do, which is we got lucky. And um, on a flight one day trying to recruit our new chief operating officer, while working from this garage, I bumped into this guy, Michael Arrington. And I, sat, I was seated next to Michael Arrington on a flight, and uh, he grilled me about the startup that I was working on. And, like a jerk, I refused to tell him anything. And he said, well, listen, if you've got guts, you'll launch the company at TechCrunch Disrupt in 60 days. And we totally weren't ready, but we did it anyway. And then we entered what I like to call the post-disrupt era. And what TechCrunch Disrupt, and winning it especially, did for us was it allowed us to understand that we had the opportunity to create something truly special, truly unique. I like to say, and what the staff likes to say, we're in this to build a generationally significant company. And in order to build a generationally significant company, you need two things. You need people who've done it before, and you need the resources to build incredible technology. Fortunately, with the raise of our $9 million in Series A funding that occurred this January, we got both. So we raised money uh, not from institutional investors, but from individuals, including the co-founders of Facebook, YouTube, Juniper, and of course, uh, Groupon. 
And uh, this is, you know, really uh, special because these individuals really help accelerate Quickie. And after we were armed with our funding, uh, we conducted the alpha launch of Quickie.com. So at TechCrunch, we launched into private alpha, and we conducted the public alpha launch of Quickie.com. And Quickie was getting so much buzz in the mainstream media that CNN actually sent a satellite truck to our little garage in Palo Alto and covered the launch live on Wolf Blitzer. And this is what that looked like. We turn now to a Silicon Valley uh, startup that's debuting today and getting lots of buzz. Uh, what's going on here? CNN's Dan Simon uh, is our new dedicated Silicon Valley correspondent. He's joining us now from Palo Alto with this CNN. So you guys get the Blitzer. idea. But that, I mean, that was a pretty surreal moment uh, for us. And that surreal moment was followed by another surreal moment, uh, which really, again, demonstrates Quickie's thesis about, yes, there is an experience on the web, but the real experience is going to be on tablets, on mobile devices, on interactive televisions. And that's when we released our iPad app about 30 days ago. And we actually achieved 300,000 downloads of the application within the first two weeks, ranked number four on the App Store. And what's most exciting is that users, when you read the reviews in the App Store, they call the app mesmerizing, astonishing, and revolutionary. And at Quickie, we want to create more products that are mesmerizing, astonishing, and revolutionary. But when we think about our product development, we realize that great products require a great organization. Great products require a great organization. And our organizational goals are to build world-class technology, create a culture of intellectual integrity, and ultimately, of course, build a sustainable business. And how do you do this? Well, you recruit great people. And we have a lot of great individual contributors, really world-class individual contributors at Quickie already. But what we're really excited to announce today is our management team. So we worked hard, very hard to recruit really talented individuals. And these individuals are going to take Quickie to the next level. And of course, it all starts with building that complex technology that I mentioned. So we're very happy to announce that Brad Whitaker is joining us as the Vice President of Engineering. Brad was the second engineer at LiveJournal, which I'm sure most of you remember, was the first large-scale community publishing platform. And he scaled that technical organization to service 30 million users. Uh, he's also a significant early contributor to lots of open source technologies, including Memcache. And this publishing background that he's developed matches Quickie's roadmap quite well. Um, next up, we've installed and recruited Matthew Liu as our VP of product. Matt is a young but very well-known uh, product development expert. He was one of the early product managers at YouTube and then went to Google through that acquisition. And Matt's only been with the company for two weeks, but it's already absolutely incredible what he has contributed. It's a real data-driven approach to creating amazing user experiences. And the third executive hire we're announcing today is Naveen Tukaram as our chief operating officer. You could probably tell from the black and white headshot that he is the adult supervision. And uh, before Quickie, he was a director at uh, Vulcan Capital, which is Microsoft co-founder's investment vehicle, as well as on uh, several think tank advisory boards. So he'll be doing a lot of thinking, leading Quickie's finance, legal, and business development departments. <clears throat> so <laughs> the big question that everybody asks us uh, as you've got all these resources, all this money, you've got all this, these amazing people, what is Quickie's next move? What will you do next? Well, as I explained, and as some of you know, we already, covered re we already cover reference content. And so up next, we're going to turn all of you into Quickies. Yes, we're going to let you Quickie yourself, certainly not as dirty as it sounds, but we've developed technology that's going to merge all of your online data into a compelling user experience that you can use to introduce yourself to new friends and colleagues. So let's see what that looks like. Third time the charm.
Linda Swanson is a small town girl who loves to travel. So that was a. <laughs> Looks pretty cool, right? Thanks. Uh -uh. So there's a lot in store for Quickie. We, you know, just could not be more excited. We especially want to thank uh, TechCrunch because the events that they put together and just the community they help create really uh, help startups accelerate. And uh, thank you so much for your time and keep spreading that Quickie love. Thanks. <laughs> Good job. <Yeah. laughs> Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.